this is Dan Collymore and you're listening to the B2 Podcast. Hello and welcome to the 72 Show. I'm Anthony Kendrick and joining me this week we've got Nick Davey. Good evening. We've got Matty Roper. Good evening, Anthony. And we've got Vince Hiller. Hiya. Good evening, you all. You well, Vince? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't complain. Great to get you on the show. So, so for those who don't know, you played uh, um, you played for Portsmouth, Stoke, in in the first and second division, amongst several other clubs. What do you think were the biggest highlights in your career? Well, well, um, you probably met, you probably missed out there the, the, the club I've got the longest, which is um, Crystal Palace, but they're up in the now. But um, probably getting getting promoted to the top flight with, um, with both uh, Crystal Palace and Portsmouth were would, would have been my um, the highlights of the club. Back on a my league career. Okay. Um. Was Palace? You started off at Palace, didn't you? Like, um. Was that the club you think you've got the best, the best memories of? Or. Um. Oh, <laughs> I started off very young at Palace, uh, so therefore I was quite um quite a long time there. But um, yeah, I think I think the memories are probably. I put them both on par. Supported as a you know who was your childhood team? My team, my team as a, as a child in it, and where I'm from is uh, West Ham. Uh, I'm a West Ham fan, and um, uh, and I closely follow follow them still now because I'm from the East End. And um, funnily enough, uh, Leighton Orient. Great season West Ham are having though. West Ham having a good season, um, very good season. Uh, Leighton Orient is my first club that sort of I, I went to watch your um, a league game at, and I, and I follow them closely as well because there's not a lot of distance between the two clubs, and they're probably be even nearer when when we're standing to Stratford. But um, they're not having a bad bad season either, Orient. So um, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, it'll be a, maybe a uh, West Ham Crystal Palace FA Cup final, <laughs> maybe Palace winning, West Ham getting into the Champions League, and Leighton Orient getting promoted from the from the um, second tier, <laughs> League Two. All right. Uh, what is it you do now? Um, now you're obviously retired from the game. Yeah, I work in the hospitality for um, uh, Portsmouth Football Club, uh, which is uh, quite good. I do some um, some work for the media down on the south coast, so um, I'm still connected with football. It's great stuff. Uh, have you guys got anything else you want to ask? All right, we'll move yeah. on. So go on. I was just going to say, obviously, playing for Portsmouth uh, in yeah. your career, how. How like horrible is it really to see where they are these days? Um, obviously languishing in League Two. Obviously yeah, got yeah. Um, some promotion this season, but still from the, the drop they've had in quite quick t- amount of time must be quite depressing to see, really. Well, you, yes, you 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 know you're dead right. Um, funnily enough, um, a couple of the clubs, a couple of the clubs that I played for, um, Crystal Palace and uh, Leeds, um, they both both had hard times, and um, in Palace's case, they've come out the other side. Leeds are um, one minute you think Leeds have turned it turned it round a little bit and things are on the up and then they get the problems again. Um, and Portsmouth uh, are again the same same problems as Leeds. Um, yeah, and sometimes you have to go back to right go right back to the start to, to you know climb back up that ladder. But um, off the field they've got things um, pointing in the right direction and, and on the field there's been a few hiccups, but I'm I'm probably expecting them to maybe make a play playoffs and then maybe battle, battle with Orient at Wembley to get, you know, get out of the division. So I'm sure that'd be brilliant for you and that's another thing I was about to say, obviously with their off-field issues kind of being eradicated a little bit, do you think they'll be able to push on now and try and establish themselves a bit and try and get back into perhaps championship, maybe even Premier League football in a few years? Yeah, absolutely, I mean, they've all, you know, all the teams down there, there's a lot of, there's a lot, lot of big teams that um, are finding finding difficulties. I mean, they're probably the most high-profile one at the moment now is, is Bolton. And um, it's the hope that, you know, it's all the clubs really that are finding it financially difficult find a, find a way to get, get make it an even playing field. It's got a chance of getting the uh, big risk up in the league. Exactly. All right, and cheers, Vince. Thank you. No worries.